The Smithsonian has a vast and hugely varied collection. It's 138 million objects. It's really hard to like even wrap your brain around that. What you actually can see in our galleries is far less than 1% of the collections. For the most part, they rest in stored shelves throughout the institution. Very little of that is actually ever seen by the public. Digitization allows us to unlock that kind of resource that right now sits in the drawers. Well, the Smithsonian's made of 19 different museums, and uh, each of those museums has many, many collections. Every one of those objects present a different challenge for digitization. I'm Hilary York, and I'm the collections manager here at the National Numismatic Collection at the American History Museum. Numismatics is a study of coins and currency. The old way of digitizing was really taking an object out of storage, um, putting it on a flatbed scanner, and it was a very slow process. When you look at the amount of objects in this collection, it's over a quarter of a million, and you do some simple math, that's 20 years worth of work to digitize this collection. We brought a conveyor belt technology to bear on this particular problem space, and now we can do the entire 260,000 item collection in a time span of about three to four months for a cost that's less than a dollar. That's the kind of breakthrough we're looking for. I think one of the biggest misconceptions is that if the operator isn't there to catch that object before it reaches the end of the belt, that it's going to go tumbling off the end. This system has sensors all throughout it, and one of the set of sensors detects when an object approaches the end of the belt, and if the object uh, isn't removed from the end of the belt, it'll actually stop. It has a custom designed body and lens system, and all of this makes up a very unique imaging system designed very specifically for these collections. With these images, they're such high resolution that we can see things that we can't see with the naked eye. We're all so proud of what we've accomplished that we're asking the questions, what else can we do now? Everyone's really getting excited about some of the other possibilities. My name is Rusty Russell. I'm the program director for collections and informatics in the Department of Botany in the Museum of Natural History. In Botany, we set up the first digital imaging lab for collections in the institution in 2000. We've known that the importance of digitizing information, that would be highly useful. We never imagined that the rate at which we could do that would pick up to the point of being able to complete our entire collection while I was still on the job there. Well, there are so many things you can do with the data that is essentially buried in the collection. We're able to begin to study things or answer questions we never knew were questions before. Let's take the bees, for example. We've digitized a collection of bumblebees. And as you know, these pollinators are collapsing. Bumblebees are a critical species to the survival on the planet, and we need to figure out how to intervene. And the collections at the Smithsonian may hold the key for that intervention. If we understand, based on digitization, how these bumblebees were historically distributed and where they are today, maybe we can figure out what's actually going wrong right now. I think we're in a really beautiful, magical spot at the moment because we have figured out how to digitize certain types of collections objects cost-effectively, fast, and at really high quality. And now what we're looking to do is to use that platform of knowledge and experience to scale up and to go really big, to do entire collections in just one go, just like we're doing at the Numismatics Collection. I'd like to think that the, that the early successes that we've had will help motivate folks to support us, you know, and to help us get to these collections that have been stored for decades, digitize them and get them, get them out to the public. I'm really lucky. I often get to walk into a room and see things that the general public does not get to see. And it really instills me with a deep, deep wish to share that experience with others. And that is really our core mission, to get you as close to the collections as we possibly can through a digital medium.